Hey guys, welcome back to GTA Magic. Today we'll discuss if cheating in GTA Online is worth it or not. Let's head into it. Number one, is GTA 5 still worth it? Grand Theft Auto 5 and Online both celebrated 7 years old recently and we're still making movies about them on a daily basis. It's not just us, either, with the game making headlines throughout the internet on a regular basis and cases still adorning store shelves. Some folks who haven't bought it yet, and how many of them are there, may ponder if GTA 5 is still worth it in 2020. Games tend to burn out in terms of relevancy and broad appeal 7 years after release, even if they're the biggest AAA releases available. Unless there's an MMO or an eSports smash that creators opt to infinitely iterate on instead of following up with a sequel. Sure, people will occasionally discuss and play them, and some will even purchase them if they missed out at the time, but they are no longer part of the zeitgeist. With GTA 5, things are very different. The game is just as relevant and popular as it has always been, if not more so. Following the initial spike at debut, GTA 5 and online only experienced an increase in active players and sales as time went on, defying every cliche associated with the game shelf life. Every year, Rockstar will announce that the highest concurrent player count record has been broken once or twice. The sales figure is updated every quarter with millions of copies we're going to concentrate on GTA Online because the question is, is X worth buying? It doesn't really apply to single player games. It, does it pique your interest? Then go for it. GTA 5 is an award winning game for a reason. It's chock full of unique characters, packed with substance, and has more personality than you'd anticipate. In terms of technological specifications, GTA 5 keeps up well in the visual department, barely exhibiting its age on a modern consoles and high end PCs. The matter becomes relevant when it comes to multiplayer games that are several years old. The one might question if online is in danger of being shut down, either because of a lack of interest, which we've already demonstrated isn't a concern, or because a new game will take its place shortly. GTA Online is here to stay, so don't worry. Due to its ever-increasing popularity, Rockstar has revealed that GTA 5 and Online will be re-released on Xbox One X and PlayStation 5 in 2021, with Online separating out and continuing its life as a standalone free-to-play title. Since the majority of Rockstar's profit from a GTA 5 comes from shark card sales in Online, and this makes a lot of sense. It also ensures that Online will continue to exist when GTA 6 is released. Rockstar has also stated that it will continue to maintain GTA GTA Online content indefinitely, which is understandable given the game's enduring popularity. Number 2. How Cheating Got Super Accessible To begin with, you recently purchased GTA 5 for $30, but not recently enough to be eligible for a refund. That's a bummer. Or 2. You prefer to play GTA Online without cages spawning on your head thanks to modders. Given that permabans aren't a huge concern when there's demonia on the line, the free copies of GTA 5 have resulted in an increase in cheating. As anyone might have imagined, over the weekend, one of my friends declared GTA Online unplayable, partly due to Rockstar's server's inability to handle the surge of users, and partly due to the modification. Players in GTA Online tend to refer to individuals that compromise the game as modders rather than cheaters. Even if it's against the EU LA, generating a flying saucer for an extraterrestrial gang is hardly cheating, it's just messing around. However, if the majority of GTA Online modders acted with restraint and goodwill, they would not be so low. No, many people abuse their easily acquired abilities. While GTA Online modification appears to have increased as a result of the giveaway, as evidenced by the number of recent posts in the subreddit concerning modders, it isn't a new issue. While griefing is at an all-time high right now, there have been concerns about modders since the game's PC launch. Stopping unscrumptious GTA Online modders could be difficult for Rockstar, given that GTA 5's modability is a big element of the game's attraction on PC. Any broad assault against modding would be unwelcome. Griefers, on the other hand, are attempting to wreck people's games by creating swarms of airplanes. For messing with GTA Online lobbies, Rockstar does issue bans, so after epic giveaways finish, this latest rush of modders may die down a little. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen right now because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.